If you're just starting bartending, these are the top five must-know gin cocktails. What's up everyone? It's your girl Flag Girl Nina and welcome back to Flag Girl Bartending. So before we jump in, I'm just gonna say a couple quick notes. So depending on what kind of bar you work in, you may or may not come across a bunch of gin drinkers. At least from my personal experience, I find that more casual style bars, people don't typically ask for a lot of gin cocktails. If they do ask for like a gin cocktail, usually that's just like a classic gin martini, which I also wanna add real quick that that is not gonna be included in today's video because I have an entire video dedicated to martinis coming up in the future. But yeah, usually most people, if they're gonna order a gin cocktail in a casual bar scene, it's usually just the classic gin martini or it'll be like a gin and tonic type of vibe. However, if you work in a craft bar, you're definitely gonna come across a lot of gin drinkers. There's so many gin cocktails for you to choose from. For some people, gin can be kind of a hard type of liquor to go into, especially if you've had like a bad experience with gin. Um, so that's why I only have a top five gin cocktails uh, for this video. I personally find that these five cocktails are the must know gin cocktails for whatever bar you've worked in. I'm pretty sure I've gotten almost every single one of these cocktails asked from from a casual bar experience and a craft bar experience you're gonna get all of them no matter what <laughs> but anyway let's jump in we're gonna start off nice and refreshing with the gimlet first things first grab a shaking tin for the first ingredient we're gonna add three fourths of an ounce of simple syrup next we're gonna add three fourths of an ounce of lime juice And lastly, two ounces of gin. Now let's add some ice and give it a good shake. I'm gonna be serving this cocktail into a Nick and Nora glass and then just strain the cocktail into the glass. To garnish a gimlet, you could use any kind of lime garnish. I'm gonna be using a dehydrated lime wheel. Cheers. Bro, that is so good. <laughs> perfect amount of sweetness, perfectly balanced, and just light and refreshing. <laughs> you literally can't go wrong. <laughs> Up next, we have the gin fizz. You will also be needing a shaking tin for this one. For the first ingredient, we're gonna use one egg white. So we're gonna separate the egg white from the egg yolk. Next, we're gonna add three fourths of an ounce of lemon juice. And then three fourths of an ounce of simple syrup. And one and a half ounces of gin. So now that we have all of our ingredients into our shaking tin, we're actually gonna do a technique called a dry shake, which basically means shaking without ice just to emulsify the egg white and make it really frothy. <laughs> We're gonna add some ice and then give it a regular shake. Now grab a Collins glass and then we're gonna strain the cocktail into the glass. And the last thing you have to do is just top it off with some soda water. Honestly, it's looking pretty good, so I'm just gonna give it a rest for like 20 seconds, and then I'll go in for a sip. Ooh, look at that! Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> the aesthetics of this drink is you kind of want this foamy part to be so firm that you can stick like a straw in it, and it'll just sit perfectly and not sink over to uh, either side. <laughs> if you want, you can also add a lemon express to give it a nice aromatic scent. But I'm gonna just leave it how it is. <laughs> you know what? I changed my mind. We're going to do it. And let's just stick it in there. Cheers. Ooh, that is so good. <laughs> Mmm, literally perfect balance of flavors. The lemon is so nice and the egg white 
creates such a nice like creamy texture brings all the flavors together so perfectly freaking delicious <laughs> Dang, I should make these more often. <laughs> For the third cocktail, we're gonna be making a French 75. Grab a shaking tin, and we're gonna start by adding a half ounce of lemon juice. Next, you're gonna add a half ounce of simple syrup. Next, one and a half ounces of gin. Now we're gonna add some ice and shake it up. We're gonna serve this cocktail into a champagne flute. And finish off the ingredients by topping it off with some champagne. So for the garnish for this cocktail, it's very popular to do like a lemon spiral, but I'm gonna use a lemon express instead. Oh, this looks all busted. <laughs> We're gonna throw it in there anyway. <laughs> I can do better swaths than this, I promise. <laughs> that looks silly, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not too sweet. It's more, it's definitely more on like the tart, refreshing, but like you definitely taste the champagne in there. Mmm. Bro, so freaking good. So good. Up next, we have one of my personal favorites, the bee's knees. Grab a shaky tin. All right, we're gonna start off this cocktail with one ounce of honey syrup. Next, one ounce of lemon juice. And lastly, two ounces of gin. Now add some ice and give it a good shake. Now we are going to serve this cocktail into a coupe glass. And to finish off this cocktail, I'm gonna garnish with a dehydrated lemon wheel. You can also use whatever kind of lemon garnish you want. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my gosh, so good. Dude, you literally, you can never go wrong with a bee's knees. Mm, mm, mm. Bee's knees, fabulous. <laughs> and for our last gin cocktail today, we're gonna be making a Negroni. This one's different because we're gonna be making it into a rocks glass. And we're gonna be building it on top of a large ice cube. Negronis are super easy because there's only three ingredients and they're all equal parts. For the first ingredient, we're gonna be adding an ounce of sweet vermouth. Next, we're gonna add an ounce of Campari. And lastly, we're gonna add one ounce of gin. Typically, you garnish a Negroni with an orange express. Silly Nina forgot to grab an orange when she was at the grocery store, so I'm gonna use a lemon express instead. Cheers. <laughs> You know what? Here's the thing. I'm not like opposed, but I'm not the biggest fan of bitter cocktails. I feel like this is the best Negroni I've made in a hot minute <laughs> for my personal taste buds. This is pretty good. It is still more bitter on the back end, but it's quite nice. It's quite nice. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was the top five must know gin cocktails if you're just starting bartending. Yeah, you need to know all these cocktails. And they're also super delicious. Um, you should definitely check out the top 10 vodka cocktails to know as well. They are linked up here and also in the description. Stay tuned for the martini guide on how to make literally every single type of martini. <laughs> on another note, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and maybe learned of a cocktail that you didn't know before. Which honestly, after trying all five of them, I mean, I've tried them before, but after retrying all five of them, 
They're all super delicious and you should definitely give each of them a try. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Subscribe, baby. I know you've been watching a couple of my videos. Eh? Eh? Join the fly people, join the gang, join the cocktail club. <laughs> but anyway, thank you to all of you that have watched this video as well as all my other videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Stay fly. <laughs>